Uh, my name is Robin Horner. I am the Digital Workflow Specialist and Pre-Sales Engineer for DocuWare US, and I've been with the company for approximately 30 years. Today's agenda will be setting a new pace for your organization, a live presentation of DocuWare, uh, import and data capture tools, followed by a Q&A. If you have any questions while you're thinking about it, type them into the GoToWebinar question box, and again, at the end of the session, we will answer your, your questions. So let's get started. What slows the pace of companies today? Information that feels like, oops, let's go back. What slows the pace of your companies today? Information feels like it should be right there, but it's not. Team resources are currently stretched. Everybody is freaking, about, freaking out about security. No one's sure what the plan is. Technology that's supposed to help is flat out painful to use. DocuWare fundamentally shifts your business into a new pace of productivity and execution. Move forward from disorganized, scattered information to one where documents and data are available at the point of decision. Automate redundant, tedious tasks for your team to accomplish more and focus on projects that matter. Security across the board is improved. Compliance mandates like HIPAA and GDPR are addressed with ease. And finally, enough with heavy complex software. Use technology on your device of choice with an experience built to get stuff done. So now let's go into the live DocuWare demo. And I'm... What you're seeing on your screen right now is the DocuWare interface. The DocuWare interface um, comprises of several different components. Over here, we have a document tray where we bring documents into our tray. Uh, so let's go ahead and bring some documents in. Now, these documents can be brought into DocuWare either by dragging and dropping from your computer, clicking on the import button up here and going out and browsing, scanning with a desktop scanner or a network scanner, as well as using a multifunction device copier. All of these tools are available um, to bring documents into DocuWare. The other option is to print documents directly into DocuWare with the DocuWare printer, and I'll show you that as we go through this presentation. Once you have documents in your tray, you can highlight it, you can store it, or you can simply open it up in your viewer to view it. Once it's in the viewer, you have the ability to print it, fax it, change the view display, do annotations, providing you have the right to do annotations. If you want to do a redaction, you can choose the color and then just draw a box around the data you want to redact. Once it's redacted, you can turn that off, turn it back on. You can print it with that redaction or without. You can email it with that redaction or without that redaction. And you also have the ability, if you want at any time, to delete it. Now. Let's say, for example, that these six documents are one single transaction, and you want to store them together instead of individually. So you just hold your control key down and select the documents in the order in which you want. And then you click and clip them together. So now we have one document that we can then store in our filing cabinet. To store it, we simply click on our store button and select the dialog we want to use. A user can have multiple dialogs for the same file cabinet or different dialogs for different file cabinets. A dialog just comprised, is comprised of the fields that are configured in the file cabinet. And you can have as many file um, fields as you want. So you can see, for an example, this particular dialog for our document pool file cabinet has a lot of different fields. If I select a different dialog, you'll see fewer fields. Same file cabinet, it's just that these particular types of documents do not require as much data, so you don't have those fields cluttering up your store dialog. Now, DocuWare has numerous ways of indexing, automating the indexing of documents we have our barcode and forms, which will capture 
the data as the document's being imported or scanned. We have our DocuWare printer that you can set up configurations to capture the data. And we also have the intelligent indexing, which would be used to capture data off from non-structured documents, such as invoices from all your different vendors. Uh, I'm gonna show you the manual way of doing it right now. So DocuWare makes it very easy for you to manually index documents if that's what you have to do. You simply put your cursor in the field you want the data to go into, and then you highlight the data on the document. And you just keep going down and highlighting the data. Now, when you get to a field such as a document type, you may want to classify documents at, with a specific document type. So we give you the ability to have a select list. And we can force the users to only use entries in the select list. So you don't get people calling documents invoice in or invoice out or just plain invoice. You can be very specific on what it's called. So I'm going to select this as an invoice out. Now, here's a, a date field. We can hit our X key, put in the current system date. We can use our plus key and go forward a day or our minus key and go back a day. Or of course, you can use the handy calendar picker and select the day, the month, the year, or simply click on today. And of course, you can always just take the date off the document, no matter what format it's in. DocuWare is going to transpose that to the correct format for your machine. Once you have all the index information stored, I'm just going to add the project number. Once you have all the index information for that document captured here, you simply click on store. The document is now stored in your filing cabinet. Now, once it's in the filing cabinet, it's available to any other user that may need to have access to it. And you can control who has access to it through security. DocuWare has a very robust security policy that you can configure based on your needs. So I just click on my search. And I just start typing the name of the company I'm looking for. I'm looking for Flying Tom. And then I know the document type was an invoice out. So I click on that. And let's be more specific. Let's select the date for that document. We know it was 11-2-2008. So we'll click on search. And we'll get one result. And we get two because there's two documents in there. Um, actually, because I left the second field blank. If I put in the same date in the second field, it narrows my search down just to documents with that date. So I'll click on search and now I'll only get one document. There's my one document. I simply double click to open it up. I can go through the different files that are attached or I can go through the pages of each individual file. So let's go through the different files that are attached. So this happens to be a PDF. We can see right down here at the bottom, that it is a PDF. If I go to the next one, give it a second here. This is a Word document, and there's eight pages in this Word document, so I can go through each individual page of that Word document. And we'll go to the next file that was attached. This one is a simple text file. And then we'll go to the next one. This is a PDF again. And then here we have Give it a second, an Excel file. And there's five pages in that Excel file. And then we go to the next one, there's a JPEG. And then, of course, the last one is a Word doc. So it doesn't matter what type of file you want to store in DocuWare. We can store over 250 different types of files and view them in our viewer. If it's a file that we cannot view, you can simply right mouse click and click on Edit, and it will open it up in the original application for that file. So the first page in this was a PDF, so it's gonna ask me, do I wanna open it with Adobe? I'm gonna click on yes, and it's gonna go ahead and open that document in Adobe. If it was an email, and I'll show you this a little bit later, it'll open it up in Outlook. So there's my file in Adobe. And so it doesn't, again, it doesn't matter what type of file it is, DocuWare can display it in the native application. So that's a brief overview of DocuWare. Now what I'd like to do is get into some very specific scenarios. We're going to start off in a department that uses email and receives a lot of email, which most of us probably do. 
DocuWare has a complete integration with Outlook. We also work with um, Gmail or other types of web-based mail programs. If I want to store an email individually, I simply right mouse click, click on store, and then we have some different configurations. These can be named anything you want. They can do different things. We have three of them named based on what they do. This one will copy the email. This one will move the attachment and leave the email in Outlook and flag it. And this one will move the mail. I'm going to move it. And when I select Move, it's going to open up the DocuWare Store dialog and give me the opportunity to add additional information. Now, if you don't want to do this, you can suppress that and just take in the basic information from the email. So we're going to go ahead and store this. Now, the only thing we want to do is add a project. Now, we see we have some options down here. When I retrieve this document, I want to see the email first. Or when I retrieve it, I want to see the attachment first. Or I only want to store the attachment. Or I only want to store the email. So even though the configuration is set up, you do have additional options when the email is stored. And of course, I can open the email right here and do some further indexing if I need to. So I'm going to click on Show My Attachment first, and I'm going to store that. Now, the document is now stored in DocuWare. So let's go into DocuWare and find that. So we're going to go to our Search dialog. We're going to enter our company flying tom we're going to select our contact and we're going to select whoops wrong one wrong contact this document type is a oh that's the wrong company name let's go down here and select our document type first so the document type is a mail in and the company is going to be Flying Tom, Germany. Click on OK. And we have two of them, one that I stored uh, several months ago, and then this one here. This is the one from today. And I can open it up, and there is my drawing displayed first. I go to the next page, and there is my email. Now, even though this document's in DocuWare, if I want to reply to it or respond to it, I can simply right mouse click and click on edit and that will open that document up in outlook and give me the chance to use the tools in outlook to go ahead and process that document and there's the drawing first and then the next page would be the email so i have the ability to take any email and I'll show you that again a little bit later and open that up in Outlook to see the email. Now, let's say we have a bunch of emails and we're not really interested in indexing them with anything other than the information in the email header. Well, I can just simply select them all and I'm just going to copy them over here to the File and Docuware folder and copy. What DocuWare is doing is it's monitoring that folder and it's storing those emails in DocuWare. Now, also, if I have a specific email address where vendors send invoices to, I can set it up to monitor the inbox so that any invoice that comes in to that email address would be processed in DocuWare. It could then enter a workflow for approvals or for verification or entry into the um, ERP program, whatever the requirement is, without any human intervention of having to get the email, take the attachment, process it. DocuWare does this all automatically. So I just received confirmation that those emails I put in the file and DocuWare folder are stored in my filing cabinet. So now I'm just going to reset this, and I'm going to select my document type of email, and I'm going to click on Search. And that's going to show me all the emails that I just stored automatically. And here they are. So now I can simply right mouse click and edit this document, and it will again open it up in Microsoft Outlook. And there is the email opened up in Outlook. I can reply 
or I can forward the email to it. Now, if I wanted to do a proposal, let's say I have a proposal and I want to store this in DocuWare, and I also at the same time want to email a copy of this to the recipient. I simply go to File, Print, I select the DocuWare virtual printer called DocuWare Printer and click on Print. This is part of the standard installation and what that does is it will take that Word document, it'll print it to a PDF, store it in DocuWare, and it will also put it into an outgoing email as an attachment. Now, that's doing a lot of processing, so it may take a few seconds for it to process, but eventually we're going to see an email pop up, an outgoing email where we can finish addressing it and then send it to our client and the, a copy of it will also be stored in DocuWare. So we'll come back to that in a little bit because like I said that's going to take a few few seconds for it to process. Let's switch over to our accounting department and see how DocuWare can help the accounting department with their everyday chores of storing either accounts payable or accounts receivable invoices. So I'm just going to switch over here to the accounting. Give me a second here to switch users. There. Okay, so in the accounting department, this is standard DocuWare, we have an invoice that we want to send to DocuWare. So we simply will print it. Now, this invoice has a barcode down at the bottom. This barcode is comprised of the invoice number, the customer ID, the subtotal, the tax, and the total. Now, when DocuWare reads that barcode, it's going to take all five of those fields from that barcode and split them out into individual fields. This is a very common practice. People receive barcodes or put barcodes on their document that have multiple pieces of data in them, and they want to store that data individually in individual fields. Well, DocuWare is more than capable of handling this request. So we just go to File, Print, and again, we're going to select our DocuWare virtual printer, and we're going to click on Print. Now, that document is going to go into DocuWare and will be indexed. Now, we just have to give it a second to finish processing because I'm running a virtual machine and I've got three people running on here, so it does take a few extra seconds for it to, to process this data. So we'll just give it a minute. And eventually what's going to happen is that document is now in our filing cabinet. So there you can see the job is finished. So when we go in and do a search, we're going to search in our accounting file cabinet, and we're going to search for the company Flying Tom Amusement Company. That was what was on the invoice. There's our document. When we double click on it, it'll open it up in a separate viewer. Now, this is just an option in DocuWare. You can have the viewer integrated into one web browser, or you can have the viewer open up in a separate browser. If you have multiple monitors and you need to be doing some work, this is a very handy feature. Now, when the document opens, you can see that there is the document. We printed it. It came out in color, just like it was in the original document. And all of the index information is added. There's the company name. Here's the date, the document number. We put in a fixed value of document type. Uh, we have the gross amount. And if we scroll down, we'll also see the um, tax amount and the net amount. And I think I have those reversed for some reason. But it can put the data in. That's just operator error. So that's how the data is captured. Now let's take another example. And let's say we're printing from a large batch of invoices from our ERP system. So I'm just going to go ahead and print this. 
this is a, um, I'm just using a mail merge, but it'll be the same thing as using your um, ERP system to print a large batch of invoices. Now, what DocuWare is doing, typically programs, when they print large batches, they put it out as one file. When it hits your printer, it's being, with page breaks, it's being broken up into individual pages, but going to a file, it's gonna be one file. What we do is we read that file, and I've got it set up so it change, it breaks on this number being different. So anytime it sees a different number in that field, it will create a new document. So what's gonna happen is, <coughs> excuse me, eventually we're gonna end up with multiple documents in our filing cabinet, a document for each invoice. If one of the invoices happens to be multiple pages, there would be one document with two pages. So. Let's go in and see if those are in there yet. They're probably not because I haven't received confirmation. But we'll just do a quick um, change my search. And let's see what we got. There's no entries in there yet. So we'll just give it a second to finish processing those documents. Um, the mail merge is doing a lot and DocuWare is doing a lot. So it takes a few seconds for it to process those. But eventually they'll be in there and we can go ahead and do our search. Let's see if we got anything in there now. Not yet. Seems to be taking a little bit extra longer time. Let's just check the status of these. This is a very handy tool. If you think something's taking too long in Docuware, you can see it's now being processed. So the document now is starting to split the documents. You can see it's splitting them based on the index information. And now that documents, those documents are stored in DocuWare. So now if I do a search on in my file cabinet, and let's just give it another second to finish putting those in there. There we go. So let's take this one here. So we search on that company there. The document type is going to be an invoice out. And we can go ahead and search and we'll get that one document or if there's multiples for the same company. We open it up and there's our document with all of the appropriate index information. So again, there's our invoice. There's the company, the invoice number, the order number, the date, the gross amount. And if we scroll down, we'll also see the net amount and the tax amount. Now, if we went back and did another search for all of our documents that have an invoice out, we just click on search and we'll see all of the documents. There are 15 documents in there with all of that information. This is the email and this is another email that I stored. So these are all of the documents that I just printed to DocuWare Printer. All, and they could also be sent out in an email so that you don't have to mail those if you want. So at the same time that you're printing them, you can go out to an email as well. Now, let's switch over to somebody that just does scanning. We're gonna switch over to an, a user that has nothing to do with accounting, nothing to do with sales. He's just a person that's doing scanning. Now, of course, he can use his multifunction device. Um, he can use a desktop scanner. I'm going to use a multifunction device simulator, and I'm going to scan a bunch of documents. Now, I'm going to get 44 documents in here. Now, what's going to happen is they're going to go directly to my file cabinet because I've got different templates set up so that I can modify those or read those documents and put them directly into my file cabinet. And again, let's just monitor this so that we can see when it's done. You can see it's processing the documents and they're starting to go into the file cabinet. So within a few seconds, I was able to capture the data and capture 44 different documents. So now if I go into my filing cabinet and I'll do a search on my document type of Invoice, click on search. And so far I only got one. Let's just try 
a different document type. I don't remember exactly what I selected the document type to be. Let's try invoice out. There we go. So now we're getting some of the documents. Um, these are the documents that I just scanned. Basically the same thing as I showed you before with the DocuWare printer, but these were scanned documents. I printed them out, scanned them in, and that's how easy it is to get large volumes of documents. So if you have a production scanner scanning, you can simply scan to a, a folder. DocuWare will pick them up, or you can scan directly to DocuWare using the DocuWare scan interface. So that was a very brief introduction to some of the capture functions of DocuWare. Um, let me just finish up this PowerPoint, and then I'm going to turn it back over to Nicole. This is a, uh, a quotation from Rob Lovejoy of Mercury Air Group Incorporated. Um, we integrated DocuWare with our existing accounting system. The integration solution mimics our physical workflows, and it has made keeping up with our growing accounting workload much easier. Utilizing a digital solution that is flexible and customizable allows us to continue to find more efficiencies. DocuWare scalability really works well for us. With the efficiencies we've gained, we can do a lot more work without more human resources. Again, that's Rob Lovejoy on how they use DocuWare to digitize its complex processing of 12,000 plus invoices per month. And Rob is the Chief Information Officer for Mercury Air Group. Keep in mind, all the features I just demonstrated are available in the DocuWare cloud solution to keep work moving forward, anytime, anywhere. You'll enjoy the best of DocuWare everywhere you go. A complete feature set with high usability and high utility that's built on the trusted Microsoft Azure backbone. 